welcome back to my next Ottomans episode. Uh, this episode is going to be late. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm a little bit ill. And I thought, I thought tonight's one was actually ready and prepared. I'm going to be going out, so I thought I just need to make a Poland one for tomorrow. So you'll be hearing my lovely ill voice on that one as well. But I was wrong. So this one's going to probably be up to like an hour late because YouTube processes these types a bit slowly. But I'm not going to be a normal super healthy self. That was super happy self, and also I'm going to sound a bit bunged up. So if you've got a problem with English accents anyway, add in that I speak quite fast, and now also add in that I've got a cold. Good luck. If you can understand what I'm saying and you're not from England, give yourself a thumbs up. You're doing a good job. Um, so let's have a look. I'll try to make this as pleasant as I can. Um, I'll probably just be doing one video at a time because hopefully I'm feeling a bit better. I don't actually feel too rough. It's just my voice at the moment. Before and my nose is bunged up, but before that it was a really really sore throat. Uh, before that it was like two days of headache and before that it was aches and pains. It's been going around our office for quite a while now. And I finally got it. So anyway, enough about me being ill because I don't actually feel ill. I feel, I feel fine. I just sound rough. Uh, current situation. Um, I kind of screwed up in the last one. I don't know what happened. I feel like someone else was playing the game for me. I've released and then... Ah, I haven't. Ooh, hello there. Teodoro. Yeah, Royal Marriage. I don't know why I've got a Royal... I don't, I don't care about Teodoro. It's one province. I, I'll just go to war with it. Let's, I just I don't care. I'm, I'm literally just going to get rid of that. As soon as I can. It's, it's going to, you know, minus one. Uh, thinking about stability. But that's fine. Timurus will look back to that. What I want to do first is just go through these. Rebel Uprising. So Crimea. We're lucky to get some. So Crimea are uh, here. Uh, Armenians there over this end. So we should move some troops around. Let's uh, group our troops, group our troops, group a troop, like a pooper scoop. Uh, let's group our troops up. Supply limit 24, 24, 24, 19, 24, 24, 26, 22, 22, 22, 22, 17, 24, 36. Yeah. Damn. My voice sounds sexy. I'm going to take our shippy ships that are left over. I'm going to group all of our ships up so I can sort of take note of what is going on. You're a trade ship apart from you. Whack yourself over there. And next. Overextension is dangerously high. So we've got two options here. We can either save up and spend our 400, which we're very close to getting like next month, by getting an extra 2% missionary strength against heretics, as well as minus 25% culture conversion cost. I'm not really going for this just yet. That would be very nice because we do have things to convert. Um, however, this has got many more negatives unrest. I mean, that's going to lower the amount of chances of this actually popping up. Lowers our trade power. More mercenary costs. It's costing us a lot more money. It lowers our diplomatic reputation as well. So I'm going to be lowering these. They're, they're cheap. I mean, oh, Musel. 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 Or Mosel, as it's known in the real world nowadays. Oh, <laughs> my voice. <laughs> I feel absolutely fine, but I sound awful. Make core, 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 make core. Yeah. Yeah. I apologize. If any women are listening to this and this voice does it for you, I apologize. It's only going to last for a little while. So the best thing to do is just to repeat the, uh, the, the video again and again. I have been told I have a very sexy voice when I'm ill. Um, and as most of you are going to be men, you'll say, what? What are you talking about? Well, I'm afraid it's what it is. It's the way it is. It's just the way it is don't necessarily make any sense. Ooh, 25th of March, mm, special day. Uh, let's uh, repay all of our loans. We have whew, 600 gold worth of loans. I don't mind if I do. Oh, maintenance is quite a lot. Mercs is only six, which is quite nice. That'll be going down. Right, choose some foreign territory, that can go away. We've suffered 14,000, we need 14,000 men. That is fine, we can bring this down. Truces will expire, what's not close to 1504. Four years. So we really need to go to war Naples. I think they're in, in a war at the moment. Yeah, Tuscany and Milan, and they're losing. Who's sitting there? Naples. Yeah, no. we need to go to war against Naples. We need to take back that, that last province of theirs. I think we've got a, a claim against them. We do. Good job. Good job. Uh, truces. We can build builds. We'll wait a little bit for that. Dispute successions. Oh, Diodoros. We could actually. Again, there's no point. It's, it's one province. It's, it's such a waste of a diplomatic reputation. Whoever's idea was that that was is just stupid. 
uh, basically me that is so if you did think that was a good idea I do apologize for just telling you you're stupid <laughs> I have no chance of let's just let's just send oh, oh I can't we'll see what we can do here. let's wait for the uh, the guy to come back Georgia we're gonna improve some relations over here because we can and we need to it's getting positive Think about turning them into a march, but don't actually want much, so probably not. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. We might get. Yeah, we'll see. The war. Are you at war? Are you at war? You're at war. Austria, you're at war. No. France, you're at war. No. Castile, no. Aragon, no. England, no. Portugal, no. Timorous, no. QQ, no. No guy. No is a war. What's going on here? Everyone's just being friendly. It's sickening. We do have two, two, two diplomatic reputations. I just realised I've sent my diplomat away rather than end it with Theodoro. Um, they do love me. They would become my vassal, I'm assuming without doubt. Yeah, they would. There's no real point to them becoming my vassal. I might as well just take them to war. To war. I could do voiceovers. Let's take them back. Yeah. Alright, dude. Where's Van? That's good though, because we're already claiming it, so that's nice. Hey, I know we kind of just said you want to roll a marriage, you said no, and now, yeah. Oops. I'm not having it. Uh, provincial unrest, fair play, that's pretty fucking high there. Shit. Where's As Sally Sally? Yeah. Um, I'm going to actually use this, which I've never used before. We're going to increase autonomy and reduce local unrest. So, plus 25% local autonomy. Which will uh, reduce local trade power, reduce production efficiency, so basically reduce income and manpower. But it will decrease unrest, which is nice. I would go for that. Plonk. Who else is super high? And Van. Just those two. Those two, just those two. Okay. Let's reduce our master a bit. Uh, I don't really need to. I could have probably just killed them off, to be fair. But it's okay. We just want to use the ability once. We still have too many diplomatic reputations. Are you sure we still have too many diplomatic reputations? I thought we had just enough. We do. What are you talking about? There we go. So, Timorous. Do we want to have a royal marriage with them? Um. <coughs> um, 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 um. Alan Kazan, did not realise that. We do have to push up through Golden Horde and Kazan at some point, so it means we are going to be going to war with the Timurids. I don't think a royal marriage is worth it right now. <coughs> I think that does mean they're going to dislike me a bit more, but that's fine. So, what I want to be doing is. You're improving relations there. Georgia, when can we integrate you? Can we integrate you? Minus three, minus three, minus three. Minus three, minus three, minus three, there. 15 oh, yeah, really? Six years? Really? Okay, let's just improve relations. I just want to see how long it's going to, it's, it's going to say it's going to take. I'll go from there. Right, you're trading. You guys are almost back in time. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're going to take these guys. We're going to look at our trade, actually. Trade, we've got 48%, 76%, 50%, 8, 8, 8? Say what? Uh, in that case, take these, split in half, you guys. What? Where are our lights? Do our lights should really that many of them die? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, one thing we really need to be doing then is building some more light ships. still losing money. How is it? How is it? How? 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 It's really this, isn't it? Yeah, we need a lot more troops. Uh, advisors. Oh, we're doing fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these guys up. I'm going to take these, get my transports, bring them over. Take a group of you, get on the ship, off we go. I'll stop them guys being taking much as much attrition, which is good. I'm going to 
going to split you and take half of you to come to Mendes. Those are the Peasants' Wars. In Lithuania, which is the uh, under a personal union of Poland, uh, there's a peasant war. The peasantry has for some time demanded economic, religious and political amendments. Their dissatisfaction has grown to such an extent that violent revolts are becoming a common day practice. Even though there is no central leadership and they lack proper armaments, the peasants have still managed to pose a challenge to the authority. Several important buildings, both religious and other, have been burnt and plundered as a protest. So what this means is that the situation got too bad but in Lithuania and they have risen up and it's quite a bad one to have. Usually means that their uh, manpower is quite low at the time. Lithuania. Yeah, 23,000 is quite high. I know not much manpower, 9,000 is manpower. So that c is, should dissolve the country quite a bit, should break it up, which hopefully is gonna actually properly break it up. But they do have Poland helping them out in Moldavia as well. But hopefully actually break it, break it up and segment it into maybe like a bit of Chernigov there. Maybe a little bit of a Zaf Zaporozhye. Never heard of that one in my uh, lessons in school. Uh, we shall mothball these guys for now. Just save us a little bit of money. So our intention is to go to war with Naples. And quite frankly with these 17 ships. I think we've got plenty. If I was to declare war, who would join in? Uh, Frara and Savoy would not join. Uh, they, they would, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't. Let's just declare war now then, to be fair. Hello there. I declare war. Take Napoli. You don't need to join in. I can join in if you want. Ta da! We'll raise up maintenance. Lose us some money. As soon as the month ticks over, we'll suddenly get. Oh, Armenian? I thought I mean. Oh, I thought I mean you said the right. Oops. Oops. What am I thinking of? What's this place over here called? Not Montenegro. Not Ragusa. Albania. That's the one. I saw it. I thought of it just before it popped up. Honest government. Honest. Uh, let's get ourselves. Oh, we already went over. Have I not got any, any, any rivals? Have I not got enough rivals? They're still in France. Issue a bloody embargo. Why have I not been doing that? Mental. Absolutely mental, mate. Probably mental. Uh, let's get one more leader, just briefly. Oh, actually, let's make my jet my five five six. How old is he? 68 years, oh my goodness. Ooh, I don't know if it's worth it. Should we? Yeah, let's go for it, let's go for it. He's gonna be fine, he's gonna be absolutely. Oh, I've got an extra one already. I thought he was a, uh, a, a captain. A captain. Oh, I don't want to use him. We'll just set this guy in. Charge. Uh, you come back down here, and you, in Tuscany, who are you at war with? Oh, you're at war with Naples, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, sure. As they say in uh, Hebrew, la malo. Why not? Oh, we got this, we got this, we got this. We take that. We now have a free diplomat to go and sail to Georgia. Alright, Georgia, would you vest vassal? Oh, we can't vest Let's keep him there. <coughs> right. You're my vassal. You love me because of aggressive expansion and because neighbor and heretic religion. Excellent news. So uh, that's all West Royal Marriage. Yes. Certainly, certainly, certainly. What else can we do? Wait for the 13th of May. Wait, 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 wait for the 13th of May. Because what we're going to do is actually send these troops. Actually, we'll split. And you guys can go into Cania. And you lot can come over here and help out. Because I just realized just how low they are. Hello, 
do 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 What was that? Lake Van. Van, Vin, Von, all that etc. sounds like wine to me. Not wines and whining, but wine is in drinking. Who are you? Do this! Alright mate! Cheers! Lovely jubbly. Let's see if we send more troops in. Oh, he's a golden boy. Golden boy. Snazzy. Right, group up, group up, group up. Oh, they get close. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, hello. Let's go ahead and push my shit in. Why? Because I can. That's why. That's why we do these things. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yes. Minus two in mountains. Shit. Luckily, we've got a 1 0, we've got a 5 0, so we're kind of winning there. We want to siege Napoli. Hello, Napoli. We have no diplomats, are you going to say, are you going to say, full inflation? Bollocks. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. What do you want? We want full annexation. Come hither. And I will show you the meaning of death. That means no nothing. Sue for beasts. Full annexation. Ah, oh, what? Four percent over extension. Ooh, that's a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? That's a little bit of a tricky one there. Um. Right, we should just try and wait, wait out the year. Uh, that's what we'll do. Let's not be silly about this. Go and sit in Constantinople. We're doing our beautiful job. Lower this down. Beautiful job. Absolutely beautiful. Iraq should be formed soon. It's nice to see. Are you actually doing anything? Are you just going to literally sit there? Let's go for. Yeah, I think he's been sitting there the whole time doing nothing. You little, you little Todger muffin. So, so hopefully he's going to go up now next, next month. No, alright, oh, something's going on. I think so, we might be a little bit bugged out there. Thank you for dropping him off, you just, you're sitting there. So we're going to sit back, we're going to wait for a little bit. Oh, is that France pushing it? Tuscany, Milan. I don't know what. What is it? Very strange. We're going to have a rack spawn soon. Uh, and we are going to just hold off. Oh, look at the little picture over here. All the little massive colours. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, Muscovy's got some uh, orthodox zealots in their country. Morocco is just being owned but nothing's actually really happening and my voice is probably going mental on the uh, on the month changeover unfortunately that happens still hello concede to beat I think not no no Iraqi nationalists how bloody dare you is this part of Iraq here then no it's not you can just Whistle Dixie, can't you? Boink. What are troop numbers like? 15,000. We need to stop losing troops. A few slightly shady looking characters have appeared at our courts, offering their service to our Sultan. They claim to be willing to be able to do things that any proper ruler would never deign to do publicly. It's an offer, plus by offence. Or we can refuse and gain five prestige. Let's gain five prestige. Let's go for that. Yes. Let's be good. Uh, one second, just see if I can mute this before I sneeze. And I'm back. Yeah. Now I feel bad for taking over, taking off all the Iraqis because now they're not going to be able to take over. But I want the Iraqis to win. Go, go, Iraqis. Uh, let's actually boot this guy. It's nice having the two. However, I don't really... Do I? 
how we do it. Right, minus one. Wow, okay, we can keep the second one. We can keep the second one, we've got enough points. One thing I do need to be doing though is probably turning this down to oh, I've got a one, one, three, three. That's pretty perfect. Depot rep and prestige. Reinforce me is pretty sure. Let's raise war taxes. I think I've turned the sound up. <laughs> Hang on a second. There we go. There we go, that's the stuff. Oh, as of. No! Oh, the bastards are right there as well. Crimea. Oh, love it. Oh, that, that, that actually give it to me. What? Why? Sweet. Get on that ship. Ship is amazing. Love it. Go, go, go. Krillnish Hala. Okay, we can now get an idea, which is going to be the admin admin one. Yeah. Which means plus 2% missionary strength, and then we get the 25% culture conversion costs. We're not saving these because they're going to cost too much. However, we can go ahead and grab that. Boink, boink, boink. Next one, plus 10% attack modifier. Splendid. Okay, where are we at with the overextension? Very shortly. Like next month, probably. Send them in. Bish bash bosh. I so I dry. Nice. Uh, hello there. I've cancelled military access. Many thank yous for your time. Most appreciated. Call your bastards. Call your bastards. Yes. I'll oh, just you sit there. You're doing, you're doing a good job. Sit there. Got some rebels now. Oh come on! You but you just you just you taking the piss. It's fine. We'll we'll, uh, we'll, we'll agree to, to to come back now. Super peace. Send. Flexation. Yeah. Napoli. Hello, Napoli. A bit of Napoli. Eh? Napoli. I like Napoli. Crazy, I think. Nice, Serbia left the coalition after we just took over Napoli. Good job, good job, Serbs. So good technically, 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 that's hard to say with the cold. Well, that's not in the back of your throat. Uh, go for Serbia. Next. They've got no allies. They're not in a coalition against us. They don't have the increased coring cost. Um, yeah, I'm liking the sound of that. Oof, Austria have got a bit of aggressive expansion against us, though. So, whilst we could, I'm not thinking there's much else I'd really want from these guys. Got a couple of two, probably not four. We could, we could go this far and sort of stop, I guess. Do I want to? Do I want to? Do I not want to? Do I want to? Do I want to? Do I not want to? I think I do. Do I? Do I not? Do I? Do I not? Hmm. That's something to think about for the next episode, I think. But before that, let's just watch all these go ping, ping, ping. Hungary left the military coalition. Yay! Why? What? What's? What happened? Any coming rebels? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bomb, 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 bomb. Down to ninety two percent. And he's still going to proc, proc as well. Go, go, proc, proc. Go, go, proc, proc. Go, go, proc, proc. Proc. Uh, new tech we can get though uh, is going to be Diplo Tech minus 5%. We could probably wait on this. I don't really need it. Oh, more morale. Actually, let's just get that. More morale would be good. Okay, so that's good. So we're now done with admin. So the next admin that we start getting will purely be to try and increase it up to the next level, which is allow three idea groups, which will be level 10. Then three more tech groups, we can then go and get something else. And I'll start looking into which one I want to get. But by the looks of this, it might be something to do with military. I'm not sure. Uh, we can now start actually sending our missionaries out. We can start converting people to the true faith, which is, of course, without me looking, sunny. Yes. My land, Savoy. It's looking pretty good, you know. Their war's not over yet. I can't see any rebels. 
Ryzen seems to have grown? Very nice. They've still got the rebels over there. Lovely. I'm quite liking the look of the map. I think we've grown rather well. Uh, all things considered. We've taken a nice bit of the mainland, which is very good. Ah, uh, still are in a war. Against all of them. What is the war? Take over Telepkin? Oran. They want a section just here. Mm. It might be time to actually start helping out. Again, I'll consider this. I'm going to end the episode here and I'll upload this one. Um, I'm sure it's a very thought provoking episode because I've been going mm, quite a lot, but you're probably thinking, what the fuck? Look at that. I like the little. Uh, the, they're, they're all becoming a lot bigger on their own, which is good to see. Although Gujarat is somehow taken over Baluchistan. But you're all with Oman as well. And you're all just Baluchistan. <laughs> Baluchistan do actually like me. Huh, so what I could do is remove my Timurid alliance and increase my Baluchistan. That's probably what I'll do. Once I've got enough of this, I'll then start pushing into Timurids by getting rid of Timurids and allying with Baluchistan instead. Thereby reinforcing their position and being able to chew up Timurids a little bit faster. Now, before I go... Uh, before I go, before I go, before I go, let's go to trade goods. So what situation is we want? Silk. I have this one, I have this one, there's no more to the west. I basically should be going east uh, if I want to do the Silk Road one. So the one thing I need to do is A, take Rome, which shouldn't be too hard. B, take uh, Constantinople, which I've got. And C, take Muscovy, which is going to be a bit tricky, but should be fine. Uh, the other option, the other thing I'm trying to do is unify Islam, which means I need to go along here, take something down here and take something there, and then start going this way a little bit as well. Shouldn't be too difficult. The only difficulty becomes over here. But to be fair, once I'm that big, if I get that big, I should be able to take a still. The whole issue is going to be aggressive expansion, which is why I don't really push against Serbia. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to Serbia. I'm not going to. I need to stop my aggressive expansion. Going to Naples, for instance, is almost a waste of aggressive expansion, but we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Um, and next is um, Silk Road. So I need to start pushing east. There's some over here as well, I believe. So yeah, I need to start pushing east. Oh, this is mine. It's a ally, uh, vassal, so we take that soon enough. QQ I'll take soon enough, uh, Timurids now need to start breaking into. But as I do be going this way and that way, I'll just do it as standard. So Timurids, Blukistan, bit of India. Yeah, it'll all be fine. So that's that, I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.